Hello everybody, this is Big C9021 from WRMaps.com and TeamSEO.com. What we're going to do today is we're going to make another beginner's video for how to make your very first map, but we're going to be using some free software called Paint.net. It's basically for those who can't afford Photoshop and want to make maps, so without further ado, let's go. Okay, first thing you need to do is open up your browser and go to www.getpaint.net. That will take you to this page. From here, you want to click on the getpaint.net 3.55 or whatever version it is at the time. Then scroll down and click the download button. Then click the download button on the right and then wait for it to download. Then open, close, and then run the installer from inside the zip. Once it's extracted all the files, the install will start. Press quick. I agree. Next. For those of you with System Restore, it will create a System Restore point, then install the program. For those without System Restore installed or running, it will just install. As you can see, it's now optimizing paint.net performance for my system. This might take a minute. In the meantime, we can close down the zip file and we close down the internet. Okay, paint was successfully installed. Click finish to close the installation wizard. We might as well keep the ticky box ticked for starpaint.net. So we'll press finish and lo and behold paint.net opens. Okay, first thing you want to do is press file and new. You want the width to be 2560 pixels. You want the height to be 1280 pixels. Press OK. And you have your basis for your map. First thing we're going to do is click on the little magnifying glass and we're going to zoom out a bit to say 50% so we can see what we're doing. Then we're going to go down to the layers palette at the bottom right and we are going to create a new layer. Then we're going to click on the background layer and click delete. This should leave you with a layer called layer 2. Okay, so this is our blank canvas for a map. Okay, so what you've got to understand is that this transparent background is in fact the background of the worm's map. So now we need to actually make the map by putting things onto it. Now, what we can do is we can, if I just move this out of the way, we can add new layers to have different things on different layers. So we're going to click new layer and then we're going to put some text on our map. So I'm just going to click, change the font. I'm just going to mute Ventrilo, just because Ventrilo is binging in the background. Okay, make the font size quite big, and I'm going to write www.wrmaps.com. Okay, we can move that about to wherever we want, we'll just leave that right there. And then we're going to make another new layer, just because we can. I'm just going to go to edit and deselect because I'm working on a new layer and we're going to draw a big happy smiley face uh, where's the brush tool? paintbrush I made the brush quite big so we can see it and we're going to draw a smiley face 
some eyebrows. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to pull some images in. So we can go to Layers, Import from File, and we're going to find a picture of something that we want to have in. So for this, we'll have a look in the 4chan picture uh, folder, and we're going to pull in the troll picture. When you've been on 4chan, you know what the troll looks like. Do not feed the troll. Okay, so we're just going to put the troll there. As you can see, we've now got several layers, Oof, and we can click on the little ticky box to hide and show the various layers. Now the thing is with this troll picture is that the white around the picture of the troll will obviously be on in game so we don't want that. So what we'll do is we're going to just quickly use the eraser tool and we're just going to make sure that we've got the right picture on, well the right layer sorry, and we're just going to quickly erase around the picture of the troll. So da 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 da. So it means it's not as ridiculous having the white edge in, in the game. Okay, that's a bit shoddy, but you get the idea. Okay, it's time to save the map. First thing we need to do is we need to go to File, Save As. We're gonna, just going to save it on the desktop. Going to make a new folder called Worm Map 1. We get ourselves in there. I want to save it as Big C90210 as that's my username on the Worms Reloaded map site, website and I'm going to call it Troll. Then what I'm going to do is, while well, this is saving, what we're going to do is we're going to just save it again. So this time we've just saved it as a paint.net map so if we want to change it we can. What we're going to do now is we're going to save it as a TGA file which is the kind of map, that's the kind of format that Worms uses for maps. So just saving that. I'm going to select 32 bit for the color and then OK, and then flatten. So now we're actually saving the map, and I'm going to save it again. This time I'm going to save it as a JPEG, because when I come to upload it to the website, this is going to be kind of like the preview of what everybody sees. I'm just going to knock the slider down to say 74, 75 percent, because that's all it needs to be. Wonderful. So now we have our map. This is what it looks like. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it. And then I'm just going to go back to the desktop. I'm going to open up and navigate to the Worms Reloaded Maps folder. So I'm going to go to C, Program Files x86, or Program Files if you're on a 32-bit operating system. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Worms Reloaded, User Landscapes. And in here should be all your maps, but I've tidied mine up a little bit. I'm opening the folder with the map on. And I'm going to pull the targa slash tg file, same thing. I'm going to drag that into the user landscapes folder. Excellent. So now, when we fire up Steam, we should be able to play our map. Okay, so here we are. The first thing we want to do is we want to get ourselves into, uh, not multiplayer, we want to go to customize and landscape editor. So, when we go to load a previously saved map, here it is, bigc90210 underscore underscore troll.tj. We're going to open that up, and wonderful, there's our map. Obviously, there's a couple of bits here that need to be cleaned up, but what the hell. What we're going to do is we're going to save it, and we're going to call it the same thing. So, bigc90210 dot troll. And that's all we need to do. That's it done. So, when we exit worms, we can see that in the maps folder, there is now three files. There's bigc90210 underscore troll dot kev, and there's another one here, LDS, and then there's obviously our original TGA map, uh, TGA file. What we're going to do is we are going to highlight all three. We're going to right click and we're going to add to archive because we're going to zip them up ready for the Worms Reloaded Maps website. I'm just going to call it bigc90210 underscore troll dot raw. It's going to put all three in a folder, and then there it is there. So if we open it up, we can see our three files. Excellent.